I'm going to show you how to create GIFs that are searchable on Facebook and LinkedIn and even more that will help you to increase your visibility so that more people can find you and throw their credit cards at your face. So we're gonna start here on Facebook. I'm on my business page and I'm gonna scroll down and below this video, or how about right here below this post? I'm gonna click as if I'm going to comment on this post. You'll notice right here, there is a little thing that says GIF. Boop. Now I'm gonna search, watch this. I'm gonna search for go live. And there's Dora the Explorer, totally normal. Oh, whose face is that? It's my face. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Check it out. Some, oh, there's my face again. So this is seriously awesome. And what has happened is by creating gifts like this, I've had thousands and thousands of shares of my face. And I have to tell you, your face is more of your logo than anything right now. So let's see how we can actually create these. We're going to start with a Chrome extension called Chrome Capture. So Google Chrome Capture, I'll put the link somewhere here. And I'm gonna add the extension to Chrome. Ta-da! Okay. Now, if you have a lot of extensions like I do, it's gonna be hidden over here somewhere. So you're gonna to have to click on the little three dots and then you're gonna to have to find it. It's this little guy right here and we're gonna bring it up into the middle of our, like wherever you want, but so that you can use it more easily. Okay, so here I am on Facebook. This is a video that I'm gonna use as a GIF. Now, you don't wanna to have to watch all of your videos to see what you're gonna turn into a GIF, so watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pause this, and when I scroll on the bottom, do you see how I can see the video? I can see fun little moments, right? So like, let's try it right here. Look at this, watch. And then you can see me kind of look at the camera. What? <laughs> All right, that's fun. Maybe as I keep going, I start to notice there's another spot where everybody raises their hands up in the air. Let's find that little spot right there, right here. Did you see how I can see that? So as the video is playing, I see there's some gifable moments coming up. I go up to the extension and I click on it. Now watch what I do. I can take this Chrome Capture extension and I can drag it across the whole screen. Here, I'm gonna click record right in the moment that I wanna capture as a GIF. So I'm gonna wait. In my mind, I know that it was when Kelly was sitting on that bench right there is where it's gonna happen, right? So I'm gonna click it right, it's gonna happen there. <laughs> right, then I click it again and look, here it is. So awesome. Okay. Here, then you can come in, you can add text. I can say a party, <laughs> right? I can add whatever text that I want. I can also come over here and I can click down at the bottom. I can actually remove these. Delete, <laughs> delete. Sorry, Misty, I love you. Right, and now I get it right exactly where I want. Ah, ah. <laughs> okay, now I have this moment that is a GIF, right? And I can save it over here. I'm gonna save it as a GIF. File name is going to be yay in a circle. <laughs> and I don't know what those means. You can optimize the size for whatevs. Yeah, we can do that because we don't need it to be, you don't need it to be huge. Hit save. This GIF on my computer, it saves like this, which looks kind of weird, right? So what we're gonna do is we're next gonna go to tenor. Tenor.com, okay. At Tenor, you're actually going to upload the GIF. And at this point, you can either drag and drop it or you can browse your desktop. So on this, we did yay in a circle. <laughs> I'm gonna upload it here. And then in the tag section, I'm actually going to apply tags that I believe would be searchable. So I always start with my own name. That way it's easy for me to find it. I also write my business name so it's easy for me to find it. And then I'm gonna say, yay, girlfriends, party, cheers, yahoo, all these different things that you can think about that people may be sharing, searching. Um, it could be like summertime, <laughs> right? Stuff like that. Okay, then I'm gonna upload it to Tenor. And I wanna show you what happens, all of your, gifts that you've uploaded will be in your Tenor account. Now, what's even cooler is that if you click on the little notifications thing in your Tenor account, you can start to see 
how many times your gifts have been shared. Look, over 700 times, over 700 times, over 200 times, over 800 times. The only bummer is if you go back in time, it only goes back seven days. So I try to check it at least once a day, once every few days, so I don't miss any big shares. I think it's super cool. And um, if you want inside our programs, we have more strategies on how you can actually use these gifts to generate leads and sales. But for right now, we're focusing on the magical visibility that it gives you. You can also load these right into Giphy, which is cool because Facebook just bought Giphy. But from my experience, I have noticed that uploading them into Tenor actually gets them searchable on Facebook more easily and more quickly unless you have a branded Giphy account. And so um, I found that if you don't have a branded Giphy account, it doesn't actually do you much good. So Tenor is where we focus unless you get that branded account. And if you wanna know how to get a branded account, make sure that you subscribe and follow us here so that we can share more tips like that with you. Okay, that's it. My name is Molly Mahoney. It's my absolute joy to help you to unlock your inner awesome and elevate it with the magic of live video, messenger automation, and gifts.